Hey everyone, I'm Christine with Health.com, and today, in honor of Fashion Week, we're here at Model Fit. Let's start off with a little bit of a warm up. Okay. Um, so the first thing you want to do, feet together, right? Hip width apart. You're going to step forward with the right leg, and you're going to press into that left hip flexor as your arms reach up, and you're going to come right back. So it's a simple step forward, right? Being mindful of your feet, um, staying parallel. Step forward. Good. Keep going. Good. So notice she's really pushing that left glute forward to get into that left hip flexor, right? She's pushing right back. Beautiful. Okay. So right foot a little bit forward in front of the left. You're going to take that foot back. You're going to get that heel down to the ground and you're going to reach your arms back. As you come up, tap the foot forward. So we're definitely getting into our left hamstring as we press back. Right? Coming up. And like I said, already getting into those abs on the way up, right? You gotta engage those abs to find your balance. So our workout is based around a lot of balance and stability. And through that balance and stability, you're working all those little muscles around the big muscles that we're trying to avoid. Right? We're trying to avoid all these big muscles because we don't want them to bulk. So we're trying to get all these little muscles around them, pulling everything in, right, rather than out. That's how we achieve those long lean muscles. I'm gonna step over to the left side with my left leg. I'm gonna bend it, so a bit of a lunge. The right leg is gonna stay straight, go the opposite leg <laughs> right there. Right leg stays straight, and you're gonna reach up and over to the right side of your body. You're gonna come up, bring that foot in. Take it out, little reach, bring that foot in. Just like that, keep going. Good. Good. So she's feeling the stretch on the inside of that right leg, right? And then as her arms reach over on the side of her left body. Good. These ankle bearings. <laughs> We're gonna put these on our ankles. Okay. They open up just like this. We have resistance on them, right? Put them on the ground. Wrap one on the ankle. Four things you have to remember with this bands. Keeping your feet a little apart, making sure that the resistance is in the bands, right? As opposed to here. Making sure there's resistance. Now, I'm making sure my heels are pressed into the ground. That's number one. Number two, my knees are bent over my ankles, making sure that they're not in front of my feet, right? So when you look down at your feet, you should be able to see them. Okay. Your knees shouldn't be blocking them, right? So it's a good indicator. Then, you're sitting back into your butt, almost as if the pole is hitting you right at the hips. And notice how my chest drops as well, right? It's like a chain reaction. My butt goes back, my chest comes forward, and my butt feels sort of like it's um, going towards the back wall, okay. right? Now all that, just to sit down a little bit and come right back up. So this is a proper squat at Model Fit. This is how we do our squats. Yeah, right there. Here, in this position, same okay. exact position, I want you to take a step out to the side with your right leg. Okay. Out. And you're gonna sort of go down in the center and then come back. Okay. Go out. Go down. Good. Okay. Sort of like um, thinking about absorbing the weight into the ground every time. Feel your glutes, doing all that absorbing. Oh yeah. I'm gonna extend my arms out. I'm gonna take this right leg out around to the side. You see how it opens up your foot, mm -hmm. right? I'm gonna take my arms, reach them back, come into the center, and come back. So it's four different moves, right? That leg opens out, I reach over, come back in, and back. Now keep going, I'm gonna come back to you. Out there, okay. We're on our knees, on our hands. We want to make sure that we're not putting our weight on top of our wrists, right? As you would do maybe in a push-up. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back a little bit, okay. right? So that we're not directly on it. You feel immediately the weight of your body. Leave your wrists, kind of come back into your butt a little bit, right? So from here, I'm going to extend one leg out, which we'll say the right leg. 
Um, and I want to make sure that I'm not leaning into the left side, right? It's going to be very easy to sit into the left side because as we lift that right leg, it's going to get heavy. So you want to make sure that you don't lean to the left side, keep the right leg out, and in doing so, you're going to feel more weight on the right side of your arm, the right side of your abs, and your right glute, right? So the first thing, very, very small, little lift, and tap down. That's it. And down. Now, Christine's doing a really good job of lifting, right? So I say lifting and not kicking. Two very different things. So she's lifting that leg. Can you kick the leg for me? Yeah, so notice how she's kicking and using momentum. Don't want to do that, right? We want to use this muscle only to lift that leg. You can already see the right side of her butt firing, right? It's like getting, getting really, really tight to, to engage, right? And get that leg up. Now from here, you're going to take that right leg and you're going to point your toe. And I just want you to glide your toe to that diagonal and then come right back. Now, don't feel like you have to open your hip at all. Keep your hip facing down, which means your knee and your shoelaces should be facing the ground. And just open up to that diagonal to have to go any further than that. Beautiful. So notice her hip is down. A common mistake is wanting to do too much motion and opening that hip up this way, right? I'm trying to do that. Yeah. Don't need to do that in this exercise. Plenty of other exercises that will open our hip, but not this one. Up. This next move, you're gonna leave your foot out here, this diagonal, and you're just gonna bring your knee a little forward. So now we're actually gonna open the hip a little bit. Okay. So now we're gonna <laughs> Now open it's it. okay. <laughs> now it's okay. So open that hip a little bit. You're gonna bring your knee forward as you glide your foot forward, okay. right here. Yeah, so still gliding. Now, if you're on a floor that maybe this doesn't allow for like this nice glide, uh, you can always take a towel or something and put it under the foot, right? And that'll help glide the foot. The towel helps. I mean, we also have these things actually called gliders, but the towel is a really easy way to Supplement that. Let's come back. Knees back. We always do a little stretch for our back and our hips. So you're going to push back. You're going to feel the weight. Stretch out your lower back. And sit into your hips. Right? Stay right there. So yeah, she's going to come as far back as she can. Really feel stretch in her hips. And I want you to walk your hands over to the left side. And you can come up a little bit from there, walk them over to the left side, and then sit into the right hip. Yeah. Good. Very important to stretch in between um, exercises, right? So um, depending on how long the sequence you do is, um, what this one was like maybe 15 minutes, do the, the, the right leg, the left leg, and make sure you stretch back before you Continue on with another exercise. Um, other side. Drop your hands over to the right side. Come up a little bit and sit to the left hip. Sort of like resets the mind, takes the mind off of like the pain that maybe shouldn't shouldn't be hurting in like a specific area, or like resetting um, all the work you've just done to begin the new work. We're gonna top it off with some ab work. So we're coming down onto our forearms, my toes are tucked under. Again, this can be done with or without um, bands. Um, but right now I'm keeping my feet out so that I feel a bit of resistance. And I want you to use your abs, not your hip flexors. It's very easy to use your hip flexors to lift up. Mm -hmm. Think about your abs. So I'm already squeezing them to get my butt up in the air. I'm pressing down to get the top of my head down on the ground. And then I'm coming right back down and tapping my thighs. And from there, squeezing my abs again. And then coming right back in. So you want to make sure as you, as you push up, you're getting the top of your head down on the ground. Getting a nice stretch in your back. Yeah. Here, push it back. She's going to get a nice stretch right there through her back and then she's gonna push 
Yeah. And Christine, you feel your abs active pretty much the whole time, right? Yeah. So even as you're going down, you're, still like you're controlling, and you're never really quite letting go of them, right? There's not quite of a much of a rest period. Good. See how her hips are sort of driving up, allowing her shoulders to press down. So it's like um, this doubles as an ab workout and a really nice stretch, right? Through her shoulders, her upper back, her lower back. Good. So good. Really nice and controlled. Just keeping it nice and steady. 